Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Roche Moutonnets. Roche Moutonnets are rock formations formed by the passing of a glacier. The term was coined by de Saussure in 1786 when he saw a resemblance to the then fashionable wigs that were smoothed with mutton fat. In this photo, taken in South East Iceland, we see a long linear feature, yet made up of two main parts, a seven metre high rocky outcrop to the left and a linear debris tail to the right. The rocky outcrop, here, seen in closer detail, is the Roche Moutonne. When studied, we see it has two distinct halves, a smoother half and a more jagged half. This is the result of ice moving across the rock in the form of this glacier, this having slowly moved across from left to right. If we go back in time and study the rock as it was, buried underground, we then see the glacier start to carve its way across the landscape, eroding across and deeper as it moves. However, as the glacier reaches the harder layer, with the glacier moving forward, but now cannot easily erode downwards, the glacier moves up and over the harder rock. If we look at the left end of the Roche Moutonne, when looking along the length of the feature, we see roughly parallel scratches along the surface of the rock. These are known as striations, these having formed due to abrasion by the rock fragments and sand carried at the base of the glacier, scratching the rock as the ice moved across its surface. Wow! If we look at the opposite end of the Roche Moutonne, at the jagged end, this is the leeward side of the feature, the ice having moved towards this end, the ice pushing downwards as it moved, breaking off fragments of the rock by plucking or quarrying, slowly breaking up the rock. Over time, as the glacier moved across the rock, the force of the glacier stressed the rock, making joints, both parallel with the ice movement and also parallel to the surface, so stretching out and weakening the rock as the ice moved onward, so that, over time, fragments of rock were plucked off the leeward end, forming the jagged surface as the ice shrunk the Roche Moutonne, doing so until the ice retreated, leaving us the Roche Moutonne we see today. That's amazing! So looking back at our linear feature, we see it has two parts, the Roche Moutonne to the left and the debris tail thinning away to the right, these both formed by a glacier as it scoured the landscape, moving from left to right, its base eroding up and over the area of harder rock, leaving us the two features of the Roche Moutonne and its leeward debris tail. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!